My friend, let me teach you a technique that I guarantee will change your day and uplift it and maybe even change your life. It's called marveling. C.S. Lewis once said, No philosophical theory that I have yet come across is a radical improvement on the words of Genesis that, in the beginning, God made heaven and earth. In Genesis 1.31, it says this, God saw everything that God had made, and indeed it was very good. I want you to view life this way. I want you to spend an entire weekend marveling. It is a learned habit, and once it is practiced by you, once it takes hold in you, it can change everything. Looking with the eyes of wonder and awe at what is around you. Like a little child, you know, if you take my granddaughter when she was smaller and I could take her outside and she would notice a leaf and that leaf would be the most marvelous thing that she had ever seen. And when you're in the presence of a child, you also see sometimes as if for the first time the wonder that is around you. Sometimes out of the mouths of babes is a profound truth that we adults can learn. Well, each morning, my friend, the sun rises on a glorious world that's a physical manifestation of God's infinite power and God's infinite love. And yet sometimes we're too busy to receive and to notice the blessings of God. We live in a society that every year is more filled with distractions than we can possibly count and more obligations than we can possibly meet. Is it any wonder then that we often overlook God's handiwork as we rush from place to place, giving scarcely a single thought to the beauty that surrounds us? Well, this weekend... I pray that it will be different in your life. I'm asking you to marvel. It's a practice called marveling. You go out, you go out into your world, and you look as if it was the first time. You take the extra time needed to marvel. You spend your entire day marveling at the common, ordinary things that you have taken for granted for too long. The grass, the snow, the sky, gray or blue, you marvel. You see again. And when you don't see it the first time, you look again. And again, if necessary. And even a third time. To see the incredible beauty that is around you. And to really see, to see in a way that is godly, to see everything that was made, and indeed it was very, very good. Today, take time to really observe the world and everything, all the beauty that is around you. Take time as you do to offer a prayer of thanks for the sky above and all the beauty that lies beneath it. Ponder the miracle of God's creation. The time you spend celebrating God's wonderful world will be a, a renewing time for your soul. You'll be surprised as the day comes to an end, you don't want it to end. It has been such a marvelous time. It has been a spiritual experience. It is impossible to spend time this way and not have a spiritual experience. Marvel at everything, even the things that man has created, the, the structures, the architecture. See it as if for the first time and look close, look deeper, and even at problems. 
look long enough to see beyond the appearance of the problem to the silver lining in the cloud. And if you look long enough with a consciousness of God, you'll find it. It will be a spiritual weekend, a new practice that I pray that you'll, you'll take up in 2013, the art of marveling. God bless you, and I know that God already has. It just needs some attention and needs to be found.